Have you ever wondered the difference between business intelligence and data science? Well, in this video, I'm gonna answer that question for you. Let's jump in. Hi there, my name is Ruben, and I'm a data strategist or sometimes a professional treasure hunter. That's how some clients describe me. And I'm working with companies to help them find more insights out of their data. All companies have data. All companies are sold on data and, and why it's important. It's just a matter of how you find more value and insights out of that you know, data haystack. And that's where I come in. Now in this video, I wanna talk about two fields, so terms that sometimes become a little interchangeable at companies. That is business intelligence and data science. They're not really quite the same. In fact, I think the difference is quite stark and something to be aware of, which will determine who you hire, what they do, and how to make the most out of that specific uh, resource or person. So let's uh, jump in into the differences, which one might be the best one for your company. The way to think about them is really by taking a maturity test exam. You know, there's all kinds of uh, assessments out there with five levels, six levels, 12 levels, I don't know. You know, my maturity assessment only has three and it's really quite simple. It has pass, present, and future. So we talked about this before in a previous video. Today, we're really focused on two of them. That is the present and the future. Business intelligence is all about the future. In my opinion, this is really where, where it really shines. And it really wants to help us understand what is going on. You know, what's the performance of that campaign that is currently running? When we launched that product or, or you know, we launched that product two weeks ago, how is the product doing? Is it really getting the right adoption? So it's all in the present. It's relatively real time. The deliverables or the outcomes or the, you know, the, the tangible things we might see here are things like dashboards, reports. And this is what you know, BI tools are all about. They're really showing us what is going on, what we should do right here in the present. Now, data science, on the other hand, is really all about the future. It's about predicting what might happen. So this might be making changes to your forecast, uh, your sales forecast. It might be launching new products. You know, self-driving cars is a pretty classic example of this, but any kind of new product. And it's maybe trying to predict what the users might want. So for example, Spotify does music recommendations, and that is based on your, your history your past history and present history, and it gives you future recommendations. You know, this is a song you might like. So that's data science. And that means that we have very diff different skill sets, approaches that are needed for each field. Data should be a support within your company. It's not the main thing. I don't think data driven is actually correct. It should be about being data supported, a data supported culture. And you know, I'll have a, a screen here. I did a presentation actually for a conference called Forward 20. And I was talking a little bit more about this idea about data supported culture. So check that out. Let me give you some just best practices for BI and data science. You know, BI is all about real time and it's about what decisions people need to make. So what insights are needed for that? That's really BI. You know, how can we help a team, a person make better decisions? For data science, focus on three things. Right projects, right people, and right data. That's something that's gonna be useful that could be done with data science and will have some kind of impact on your company as a project. The right people, you know, the right skill sets, the right data scientists, the right backgrounds, you have to find those. And the right data. You need to make sure you have past and present data, clean, makes sense, structure, or even if you have unstructured data, they can work with it. So you have those three things. You can typically do uh, a lot of good things with data science. And maybe I'll do a video in the future more about that. But that's all I have for today. Uh, this is the difference between business intelligence, data science. If you enjoy this, make sure to subscribe. You can look for all those buttons around this video. And there's also gonna be two links in the description for you. One is a weekly newsletter I call the Growth Needle. It's ideas like this one in a weekly text format. I think you'll, you'll enjoy it. And then Twitter. I just started using Twitter. I'm posting ideas there on a regular basis and it's a great place to ask me questions, follow me, just stay up to date. So check those two links out in the description. Finally, tell me what's just one thing you learned today. Is there something that you, you, you know you didn't know, you had a misconception perhaps, and now it's more clear? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, talk soon.